Kabul, Afghanistan's capital, is home to more than 5 million people. And with a population that has increased over five times in the past 10 years, it's also one of the world's fastest growing capitals. All over this area, there's redstone after redstone after redstone, which is where they found mines up here. And this one here is a live Northern Alliance mine that would have been placed there about 10 years ago to deter the Taliban from coming over this mountain. This one is Queen, Drun, and Worka. So they're getting quite angry. <laughs> I'm going to walk away because they are getting very angry at the moment. We maybe. If I, I'm just going to stand very still. The relatively low amount of casualties, a successful rescue operation and an effective clean-up mission means that despite the fact the insurgents managed to breach the city, this really was a victory for the Afghan forces. The thousands of spectators behind me are a testament to the popularity of cricket in Afghanistan. The sport has come a long way in the past few years and with competitions such as this one and the national team competing on the world stage, cricket is helping to unite the country. All the way down the river there are plenty of things to stop off and see and some incredible feats of engineering. For instance, this bridge here is not something you'd want to cross every morning, but it's made from old parts of Soviet tanks. Delicious. About halfway up the minaret is this incredible turquoise tiling and all down the sides is Kufic script, which is an ancient form of Islamic calligraphy. It's incredibly beautiful. We've reached the base of the Hindu Kush and it is absolutely beautiful. There are mountains for as far as the eye can see. The tops of them are covered in snow and along down the valley is the Panchir River. It's absolutely beautiful. 